All right, Lego City friends. So I made a video a little while ago about making uh, how I make my Mills road plates with the new uh, road system. That one we're not lower. These have been out for a while now, 60304. But I thought my video was way too long and uh, even I got bored. So I thought instead I'd do it uh, the same way that we build Lego sets with uh, just uh, seeing it in stages. So this is one of my finished uh, Mills plates with the new Lego road system and you can see how much wider it is than uh, what the new road system comes as. This is their width and we're widening it out here plus adding the white stripe. So the way I make mine, pretty straightforward. First thing you're going to get is two of these guys. It comes with four of them in the set. So you're just going to add your white stripe down the center, if that's what you want to do. And then fill in your open spots with the uh, 2x4 dark blue gray, right? So that's that. You start with those two. Get that done. So here we've got our white stripes in. We've got our fillers in there. Then the first thing you're going to do towards making this uh, Mills plate road is flip that over now and get any combination but nine sets of two tiles together. These are two tiles thickness. These are just what I had laying around. And if you're using Mills uh, plates and modular systems, the um, new road plate set comes with a lot of these green ones you can just use so they don't have to be this size but you want two plates for that thickness when you do that and you make your mills plate it will give you this little step down for your curb when you're all done which i think is good enough so once you've got that you put one in each corner and then down the middle gives it good strength and it gives you something to attach it to now and here's where if you're a lego purist you might want to shut off this video and go take a shower because a lot of people complain and i was concerned myself about the cost of mills plates with lego parts and yeah it can be pricey but i think it's almost a crime to buy lego brand base plates and bricks only to hide them underneath uh, the top of your mills plate segment, right? What's the point? So I found base plates. You can get them too at Amazon. These are about two bucks a piece and one day delivery. So I've got, what, six of these for about 12 bucks. Not Lego, but they do the same thing. They work just as well. And then, uh, and I'll put the how many you need of each type in the description, but you're going to need a bunch of two by two bricks, two by four, two by three, possibly. Yeah, actually just two by three and two by four. These here are good enough. And I was lucky to find an educator who bought a bunch of these non-Lego for uh, students and hardly used them. And I bought uh, everything she had, about 7,000 pieces uh, at about two cents a piece. But you can... Uh, you can find non-Lego bricks in bulk and get them at a really good price. And that's what I'd suggest because they're just going to be buried underneath your um, mills plate anyway. So you've got your 32 by 32 base plate. doesn't matter what color it is. It's just going to be hidden anyway. You've got your nine sections of two plates with there. Find your middle location. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And that baby goes right in there. Like I said, that baby just goes right in there. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's going to fight you. But it does work. You can pinch it all together. But it will go together. And if you got a good hard surface to work on, makes it even easier. There it is. 
All right, so that's it. You can see that is attached now. Plenty of area to work with. And we are going to widen this quite a bit. So let's take a look at that. So here's one of mine, one side done and one side ready to be finished, right? So we have our road section here and to finish it out. And by the way, the new road system comes with um, enough of these to finish out one length here. Um, no problem. Like that. But fact is you are going to need to buy some other stuff. So, along with a bunch of non-Lego 2x3s and 2x2s, I'd suggest going on to BrickLink or Brick Owl and get a whole bunch of the 2x4 dark blue gray. You can get them at a really good price. I got these, I've got the light ones, I got some of the smaller ones for my sidewalks, uh, some of these for the sidewalks, and then from here, <laughs> You're going to start building out um, the way that you can widen this road. I'm going to take these little guys off of here because, as I said, the Lego road system, uh, that set comes with enough um, pieces here that you can, finish, um, you can finish widening this part. And then these, you'll have to supply yourself uh, eight on each side to make it that much wider. That's a pretty wide road. Um, that's the way I like it. So you've got these in place now. You filled in here. Now we're going to fill in these little extra spots. Again, these come with uh, the Lego Road plate box. Same with the little ones are in there as well. So now you've got that. Then you can see what I did here is using whatever combination you want. You just want at least two wide all the way down this uh, side and that side. So once you've got the road piece in place, this one here, now take whatever combination you want. And I got, I would be using two by fours now and go all the way down this side. So if you got two by fours, that's eight on each side, right? There you go, just like that. Do it on each side. Once that's done, now take some two by threes and add them right here. And start, by the way, in each corner with a 2x2 two two and a Technics brick. And the Technic bricks, again, this is something you're going to have to buy. And you decide what kind you want to use, but I'm using the three hole. One on each side of a 2x2 two two in each corner. So this in each corner will end up looking like that. Once that's done, you just skip two spots and add two by three. Again, skipping two, adding a two by three all the way down. Then skip one row, two by twos here. So I'll hold this here. If you need to, you can take a screenshot, save it. Just pause the video and you can see it right there. Pretty easy. Now, you can widen your road with eight of these on each side, right? There's six, seven, we got one at the end already. There's eight. Then, another thing you'll have to supply, whoever you want to do it, is some kind of white tile if you want this white line. I got some one by eights and uh, that's how I made my white line right there. Then last thing, however you want to fill this in here, you can use uh, 
two by or four by fours. These are four by eight. I think some of these actually came in the Lego Road um, system box in the in the set because they have you um, you know building it the old way without meals plates. You would just be adding signs and lights and things to these, and we're not going to do that. So whatever you want to do to fill that in. I've got a little mix here. We've got four by four there, a couple of them, then four by eight, three of them there. Then on top of that, you're now ready to finish off your sidewalk like this. So we'll show you how we start to finish one off right here. So this one started, started filling it in with gray, maybe leaving little spots for this one's a bench. This is where I want to put my traffic light. And you can even make a place for drains. So you can see how that's done there. I changed the size of my four by, what would normally be a four by four plate here. I changed it, just made, a, uh, just made enough here that I could put a drain down in here and then cover it up like that and like that. Now I've got drains on the sidewalk, drains on the street. Got a space for a street right here. Then just finish it off however you like. And there it is. So that's the whole thing. Here's a finished one as an example. Uh, again, you can buy accessory packs that have street lights like this one, as well as the one here that has uh, lamps and has the street um, names. So that's an example here. I even uh, made uh, this one a little fire hydrant, which I showed in an earlier video how to make a real simple fire hydrant. Added orange line instead and a little no parking sign. A little garbage can over here. This comes in the Lego, uh, one of the Lego accessory packs. Same with the uh, little garbage can. And then you've got a whole finished Mills road plate using the uh, new Lego Road set. And as for width, you can see, here's the holiday van. Plenty of room there. And for bigger cars, they'll fit on there really nice. So that's it. I hope that makes sense. Pretty simple. Uh, anytime you need, just go through the video, pause it, if you need to look at it. You'll find your own method. For how you want to apply your bricks this is probably the most difficult part to get some kind of a routine and system down is how to fill in here without you know putting in more bricks than you really need that's it pretty simple any questions comments thoughts about improving it thoughts about what you might add to your sidewalks i'd love to hear it in the comments because that's where i'm still stuck i'm not sure how i want to finish off all of my roads. I think this is pretty close to a finished product here. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll have a lot more uh, Lego City updates coming. We're still working on the Palace Cinema and that'll go into the city next. Thanks again and uh, we'll see you on the next one.